We don't need a destination, let's go where the river's taking us mm -hmm. Over fields and through the country, letting go of everything but us mm -hmm. Over the This is me and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be giving Duke his first ever bath. So Duke is only two. He's turned two quite recently. He's just had his birthday, so he is still a baby. So he hasn't really, I don't think, well, since we've rehomed re him, we've almost had him in a year now, which is absolutely wild. It'll be a year in August. We've groomed him, obviously. We've hand sort of sponged him. Yes, but we've never actually given him a full bath. Now, this boy here is getting a little bit impatient because I'm talking to the camera and not giving him the attention that he wants because um, he hasn't actually been in the cross ties that much so this is going to be a very big experience for him we're going to take it nice and slow um, i'm not going to put too much pressure on him just go kind of at his own pace but hopefully he will be a good boy so the first thing i'm going to do is give him a groom just to let him settle while he's in here make it a nice experience and then it'll be time to give you a little bit of a soak because he has been scratching against everything he's finally lost his winter coat however he has been scratching against all the fences he wants to scratch against me so i feel like a bath would be really nice for him it's also one of the hottest days of the year so it'd be nice to cool him down as well but anyway Let's get grooming. Look at that scratch. Oh, scratchies is his favorite thing. He tries to scratch me back because obviously in the wild they do mutual grooming. So thank you, Duke. My hair is gonna look like a bush if it didn't already. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the scratchies. So I thought I would start with Duke's mane because I don't know what it is. I feel like especially horses with a longer mane like Duke's, if you brush their mane, it just makes them look a lot more put together because um, Duke's mane, it has actually thinned out a bit where he's been scratching against things. Uh, but also he has got his summer coat at the moment. And I feel like in the summer, he looks a lot more like a small horse. Um, a lot of people in the winter when he does get really really fluffy thinks that he is a Shetland he's not he is a mini Welsh mountain pony but he is very very cute I'm um, gonna do his forelock as well his forelock has really changed it's not as fluffy as it used to be I also feel like in general he's got lighter but his mane and tail have got so much darker like I'll show you his tail in a second before it was very much like a flaxeny blondy color like it is at the bottom but all the hair that's sort of coming through is almost black so it'll be interesting to see what color he goes when he gets older but he does look very cute hey mister are you adorable yes you're adorable and you know it mm -hmm. okay let's do your tail should we show everyone your beautiful tail yeah so you can kind of see here duke's tail it's literally all growing through black i remember when we first kind of got him like the darkness kind of went up to here it was just a little bit at the top so um it would be quite nice if duke's tail went darker because then um you know it's a bit more of a practical color i can't lie because um when we did get duke his tail was kind of all this color now because i've never really given duke a proper bath before i'm not sure if his tail is supposed to be sort of a flaxeny creamy sort of yellowy color or if he is supposed to have sort of a white gray kind of tail so that will be interesting to see when i wash it if it does change color or if it's just naturally this color or you know if it's all just dirt which honestly wouldn't surprise me because this little guy his favorite thing especially if it rains it hasn't rained in ages he doesn't like the heat too much he's been very good and always goes in the shade in his field shelter when it's really hot especially days like today but when it rains this boy he is zooming in the rain in the muddy puddles i think rain is generally his favorite weather ever so cool look at that look at all that booty dust that's probably why he's scratching everywhere look at all that obviously duke is a field kept pony so you're not supposed to groom them as often to keep all the natural oils in their coat but duke what is oh my goodness look at my hand filth absolute filth so i'm actually really impressed with duke he's been doing so well in the wash bay especially as he hasn't really been in here much he does love a good face brush it's all nice and soft on your snoot isn't it 
you love it. But anyway, something that I always think is really important when you're working with young horses is to try and make everything new a really good experience. And so much on your sort of how you're feeling on the inside can really affect the horses. So if I was rushing and I was like, oh, I've got to film this video and I was stressing and that would probably stress Duke out quite a bit. But because, you know, it's a nice chilled, sunny afternoon, you know, I've got all the time in the world to film this video. I'm just chilling with my boy good vibes basically if you're good vibes your horse is good vibes so that's what i'm doing and you've been very good i'm being groomed yes so i'm just giving duke a little bit of a groom kind of as like a i was gonna say pre-rinse but kind of a pre getting rid of the dust you're okay you're okay hey you're okay i know it's because i'm around your bum and not your face you're like excuse me i want the attention up here please yes so I'm just gonna give him a little bit of a scratch <laughs> while I groom him just to keep him happy. But um, to be fair, that brush has got rid of quite a lot of the dust there. Well done. I know, you just want, do you want a bum scratch instead? Is that what you want? You just want attention all the time. Well, you are a baby, so can't blame you much. This is all very new and exciting, isn't it? There we go. What a good boy. I'm really impressed with you. You're doing really well, mister. Yeah. Okay, Duke, I've got some water here. Do you want to have a little taste? It is the finest water of all the lands. Well, you can take a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Hey, oh, oh, he is going for a drink. There we go. Oh, Duke, you're so cute. His little mouth. You're dribbling, baby. Oh, nice. You're okay. Are you ready for a bath? You ready for a bath? Oh, oh, what's this noise? It's a sponge. That's the noise a sponge makes. Got some Duke ASMR going on here, just getting him used to the noise of the water and the sponge. See, it's all good. So I'm going to be using an antifungal and antibacterial um, medicated slosh on Duke today, which will hopefully help with him being a little bit more on the itchy side recently. But obviously, if it does get worse, I will check with a vet. But um, it's not too bad. It's just one of those things that it's probably good to keep an eye on. And hopefully this will help. Yes. So it's nice and dilute and you don't need to rinse it off. So if Duke does decide, you know what, the bathing life is not for me today, we don't have to worry about rinsing off all the bubbles. Hey. Give it a bit of a... There we go. Well done. Okay, where should we start? I'm going to go around the other side because normally you start on the left with horses just because you're used to that. You're okay, baby. Let's give you a little scratch first. I'm gonna go in with the sponge. It's not actually very wet, it's just a bit damp. Just because it might be, to be fair, I was just saying earlier how much this boy loves the rain and loves getting wet and just being a filthy child. So maybe being washed might be one of Duke's favorite things. Well, to be fair, if he does white out and get very gray, he probably will need quite a few baths. Yes. Good boy, well done. Good boy for your first bath. Good boy, Duke. Good boy, you're okay. I know, you're being so good. What a good boy. Oh, that dirty water. Coming off you, baby. Get that booty dust. Mm-hmm. You can go on your mane. Give your mane a bit of a wash. I think the only time this has been washed is when it's been in the rain. What a good baby. Do you reckon I can squeeze some water? Oh, well done. Well done, Duke. Lots of positive reinforcement. Lots of good vibes. Lots of nice, chilled, happy voice. Such little legs. That's the good thing about Duke, because he's so small, there's not much of him to wash. That's why when we were like, mm, fourth grey and I was like well he's kind of dark at the moment so that's more of a practical colour and also you know he's small so when he does white out there'll be less of him that needs to be cleaned compared to big old Joey. Oh, look at that look at all those trickles of water coming down you're being so good yeah look at that oh well done well done scrub a dub 
in your favourite scratchy spot. Scrub, 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 scrub. So I'm just putting Duke's tail in the bucket. I am standing to the side, so if he does decide to kick out, I'm not in the way. Probably put a bit of shampoo in here and actually give this proper wash because he's been very good standing still. Use this purple shampoo. You can see the tail actually does change colour. Yeah, 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 Duke wash. We're Duke washing. Duke has been very good at having his tail in a bucket. I'm just doing another rinse to make sure that we get rid of all the bubbles and all the soap because we don't want to leave that in there. But he had a few sort of seconds where he was like, mm, this is kind of scary. Mm, I'm freaking out a little bit. But he's nice and chilled now and I think he just got a little anxious. He was just a little bit like, I don't know what's happening. This is all very new, but he's doing so well. Be interesting to see what colour that tail goes when it dries out. Oh Duke, you're being so good having your face washed. I feel like Duke just loves having his face scratched and washed. It's like one of his favourite places, especially up here on his forehead. You do have quite a big forehead, don't you? But you're very cute. Very cute. Put a little bit on your forelock. What a good baby. <laughs> because Duke was such a good boy, it's time to give him a treat. Well done, Misty. You've been so good. So good. So I'm just going to dry him with a towel because it's actually dried off quite a bit already. Just give him a little bit of a rub, nice and gentle. Yes, but I think this boy is very excited to go back out into the field where he'll probably have a roll. So I will see you guys when he's dry. Get your mane. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. You're smelling beautiful. Okay, walk on, Duke. Walk on. Good man. Come on then. Oh, big shake. Big shake. Okay, let's go and find Mickey. Go back out in the paddock and have a big roll to go and get absolutely filthy again. Mhm. Mm because that's just the way of being a grey. Hi, Michael. Hello, Mister. Oh, thank you for the kiss. Okay. Duke's in. Time to undo the buckle. Let's go. What are you going to do? Are you just going to go and give Mickey a scratch? Or are you going to go and roll? I reckon... Oh, yeah, that nose is down. He is ready to rumble. Straight away. Hits the ground. Well, that's what he thinks of having a bath. To be fair, his tail does look rather white. Maybe not so much anymore. But... That little grunt and that shake. <laughs> oh my goodness, Duke. What was all that about? <laughs> He's like, nope, camera, I want to go to you. <gasps> Look how dirty he is. Look at that dust. Oh my goodness. He is absolutely filthy. Oh, M Mickey, is Mickey going to go and roll now? Oh, I need to wash Mickey. Oh, Duke's gone for another roll. Look at that. Oh, synchronised rolling. Mickey really needs a bath as well. Look at that tail. Absolutely filthy. God, he is really going for it. Get, get all those sides, get all those angles. Oh, the dust coming off that. So, I'd like to just apologise for the state of both of my ponies right now. To be fair, Mickey does get a little bit of a squirty bum with his medication, so that's why his tail, even though I washed it a few days ago, looks absolutely disgusting, doesn't it, mister? And you've got your fly mask on that's absolutely filthy, and the only way we can keep it on is with a head collar, so, and he has an, he has an old head collar on because it's a field one, because he has to have a fly mask on because of his sensitive eyes being blue. So Mickey, you, I'm not gonna lie, you do look like an absolute state. But you know what? You're living your best life out in the field. He's a happy mud monster and that's all that counts. Duke is also a happy mud monster and he's had a good experience being washed. He was clean for a few seconds. That will help with our bond, getting to know each other, even though I do feel like I know him pretty well. Now I've had him almost a year, still cannot believe that. So anyway, guys, before today's video ends, I'd just like to say a huge thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing Duke having his first ever bath and these two getting 
absolutely filthy. Greys being greys. Oh. <laughs> I just patted Mickey on the bum and it was like a whole dust cloud and my hand's also filthy. But anyway, if you're new or haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh my goodness, look at him. To be fair, his tail looks cleaner. But the rest of him, maybe not so much. That uh, is not a waste of time because it was a good experience for him and he needs to be bathed in the future. So, you know, it's adding to his life experience. But on the cleaning front, maybe a bit of a waste of time. <laughs>